Hey guys, this is Death from Death Creations. Okay, I'm gonna show you how to get the Siri GUI, meaning it's only the look. It won't work because Apple servers won't allow it. So you will need an SSH client like Cyberduck, WinSCP, or Transmit like I use. Go ahead, open it up, navigate all the way back, go to System, Library. <coughs> you want the private frameworks folder so I'm just gonna leave it there open up this it'll tell you where to put everything now I'm gonna take this and drop it in private frameworks and as you can see it's right here so <coughs> you wanna make sure that is 755 you don't want it 775 just 755 so go ahead close out of that <coughs> then go back to that library core services springboard.app and go to the folder that I give you copy all of this except for your original push that's just a backup in case something messes up so I'll go back a step, take all of this, drop it in the Springboard app. Just click apply to all. Okay, I'll clear this. Alright, just go into your springboard folder. Go all the way down. I'm on iPod, so it'll be this place. So, open it. I like to use Plist Edit Pro. If you don't have that, the default Mac program is Text Edit. So, open this up. Go to comp Compatibilities. You should see Assistance. Then boolean and yes you want that there you'll go down and it's right here so after you have all of that <coughs> go ahead and respring your device and once you respring just press your home button and press and hold the home button and it should pop up if your device goes into a respring loop, I have provided you the original list. Just take that and put it into your where I showed you to put that list. And take the original part out and respring. Like just let it keep respringing and eventually it'll read from that list and it'll work. But that was Death from Death Creations. Peace out, guys.